Today we're gonna be making a giant watermelon popsicle with jelly gummy seeds. So we're gonna start off with making the gummy seeds for our popsicle. We found some of these plastic boards around the house. We measured it out to be a little bit over 14 centimeters. You make it one inch wide. This is where I'm gonna cut. This plastic is a little bit harder and I have to be careful because this one can't cut me. <sighs> so we're actually gonna be making two. Oh my God, I got it. It didn't drop. Cut that. Perfect. This board kind of has these little crevices in between right there. Do you see that? One, two, three, four, five. And we're only gonna be cutting that top part off. Just like that. And then we're gonna do it to the other side as well. Okay, cut all the holes like in between the, the ones we already cut. Okay, now after we cut all of them, see how it bends like that, like a little teardrop? It's perfect. We just need a little bit of duct tape and you're gonna connect the other part to it. So we have that second one ready. That. Now, if you want to, you can use a hot glue gun to like make it stick onto here, but it's really not that necessary. The next part is I am gonna get some foil. There's a shiny side and there's a not shiny side and we're gonna need the not shiny side. I fold this part a little bit just to make it slightly easier to kind of put in because you don't want to make a hole inside the drop. Kind of massage it in there. If it rips, just get another piece. It's kind of like a little dome inside, one centimeter deep. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Push the other sides in. So now that we have all our seed molds ready, we're gonna put this aside so we can make the gummy mixture. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna get some cold water. It has to be cold water. And put one cup in here. Then I'm gonna put half a cup of corn syrup in there. Mix it until the corn syrup is completely dissolved. So it's completely dissolved in here. Oh, that smells really good. <laughs> I wanna just drink this, but don't drink it. Next, I'm gonna pour in my gel gelatin. You need four of these little packets of gelatin. Don't put it all at once. You're actually gonna sprinkle it in, or it gets really clumpy and hard to mix. Sprinkle that around. Mix. I'm a DJ. Uh, 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 uh. So it's mostly mixed in there already. So now I'm just gonna put in my packet of jellos. Strawberry jello. And same thing, you don't wanna just pour the whole thing in there. You wanna sprinkle it and mix it at the same time. Ooh, this one smells so good. <gasps> Look at it mixed in there. It's changing colors. Ah, oh, sugar. This is like a, like a waterfall of, of sugar powder. <coughs> Oh, I inhaled it. Oh, oh. <coughs> mm. well, that's good. <laughs> I gotta do it from a distance because the sugar's starting to go up my nose. Mix it a little bit more. Get the sides off. So if I add blue to red, what color do you think it's gonna turn into? Blue and red makes purple. You wanna mix this until it's as dissolved as it could possibly be. Mix it. So seeds aren't purple from the last time I remember when I saw a seed. They're actually like a brown color and watermelon seeds specifically are kind of dark brown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some food coloring. Brown right there. Put a couple drops in first. Now that this is completely mixed and mostly dissolved, we're gonna head on over to the oven. Heat this baby up. So we're gonna turn this into a medium low heat. This is gonna take about 10 minutes to heat up. So I'm just gonna stand here and mix for 10 minutes. I'm gonna keep mixing it, that way it doesn't burn. You know it's ready when you start to see these vapors coming up. Turn the fire off. Oh my God, I, I dyed the stove brown. Now comes the tricky part, okay? I have to pour it into the little molds without spilling. <laughs> all the way to the top, to the edge, because when it cools down, it actually shrinks a little bit. Last one. Okay. I did it. Now you see how like some of them have the bubbles on top? 
If we wait a little bit longer to let it dry just a bit, we can actually take those bubbles off. Oh, it's coming off a lot easier. So the more it cools down, ah, the easier it is. You can eat it if you want to. I'm just not gonna eat it. And we're done. <laughs> You can actually let it sit on a counter if you want, but we wanted to cool it faster, so we're actually gonna put it in the fridge. And we're gonna let that set. While that's setting down, we're actually gonna make the popsicle stick. You know the little wooden stick to make the popsicle? Let's get on that. So first, I'm gonna need to measure out 16 inches straight across. One and three fourths, same thing here. One inch and three fourths of the way, which is right here. Right in the middle, eight. Use this little sharp metal needle part, measure it right to the end, and we're just gonna make a nice circle. Same thing for this side, okay? The middle one, you're actually gonna measure out yourself about one and three fourths inch. One and three fourths. Uh, one and one fourth, sorry. One and one fourth. And make that circle. So now we have two big circles and one little circle right in the middle. We're gonna need a 90 degree angle. You wanna line up to this line right here. I'm just gonna make a line right across. Same thing for the bottom. And you're gonna do that to all of the circles. Next part, super, super cool. You're gonna take this nail and we're actually gonna put it through the other side. Careful not to poke yourself. This is how we're gonna make that curve for the popsicle. Just gonna trace it all the way through. So we're actually gonna switch it up, put the nails on the bottom this time. Bam! And take a look at your beautiful popsicle outline. <laughs> Cut out this cardboard part. Ugh, got it. But this is not all. A popsicle stick is not made of cardboard. It's gonna, it's gonna get all mushy and nasty. We actually need this to be made out of wood. Trace it onto the wood, so when we cut the wood, you actually know where you're cutting. So this is a part where you don't need just a regular adult, you need a professional. So we're gonna take this wood, send it outside to Ben, and he's gonna help us cut it. So this is the outcome of our popsicle stick. See how it's like that thick cut? Now this is a popsicle stick. Next step, we're gonna take these little jellies out one by one. So I'm actually gonna take this and then you just kinda. And we are done. So you can actually save these and make more later on if you want to. The next part though, we're gonna use a heat gun. Now you see how in our little seeds, you see all those little crevices, all the little folds in it from the foil? Well, we're gonna use my handy dandy heat gun and we're actually gonna kind of melt it a little bit, just a little bit so that it'll kind of take a smooth form. See how smooth it is compared to the other ones? So we're just gonna repeat that for all of them. So fast forward. You don't have to do this, and technically we don't have to do this either, but we just wanted to make it look absolutely beautiful. Put this back in the fridge to let it cool down again. <laughs> when we use the heat gun to kind of like melt it off a little bit on the side, we're actually gonna cut off the little melted excess parts. Wow. They all have a little bit of a spill, so I'm just gonna cut the rest of them and fast forward this. Wow. Now some of them, we couldn't really get those excess crease off, but that's really okay. It still looks fine. Like most of them came out really smooth. Don't they look like real seeds? Like giant watermelon seeds? Now let's get started to actually building the popsicle. So we have this big tub of water. We're actually gonna mix it with this can of juice. This is concentrated juice. And finally, we have some watermelon Kool-Aid flavoring. So it gives it that watermelon taste. We're gonna be doing this two times, so that way we can make the seeds like kind of pop out from the top. During our test, the bottom of the can actually got like pierced by the ice because when you freeze water, it starts to expand. So we actually taped the bottom of this for this time. Pour this in. Take this, oh. Ooh, that's good. But that's really sweet. No wonder you need to mix this with water. I'm gonna pour it into here as well. Whoa, it's orange. Let it leak in there. 
Okay, now I'm gonna open my little Kool-Aid squirt. Oh man, it's leaking. It's already leaking. I'll get the tape, get the duct tape, get the duct tape. Fixes everything. Please don't burst. All right, this is how we fix the problem. Duct tape. <laughs> and we're just gonna hope for the best. Please don't leak, please don't leak, please don't leak. Okay, 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 I'm just gonna continue on with my watermelon juice. Ooh, it's pink. Okay, this isn't as red as I want it to be, so I'm gonna add a little bit of food coloring. Oh, it's dying the whole thing red. Okay, that's a nice red. So I have a feeling these seeds are just gonna drop straight to the bottom. <laughs> no! They just sink to the bottom. I'm just gonna stick a couple of them inside and we're just gonna hope for the best, okay guys? Okay, I'm gonna put five seeds in there. I know for a fact it's gonna just freeze at the very tip, but that's okay. Get a little mix. Now I'm not just gonna put the whole stick inside. I actually want to have it like this, you know, hanging like this. So Ben went along and helped me put this contraption in to help this giant wooden stick stay in position in here, okay? So I'm gonna put this in and center it to the best I can. Now I'm gonna mark with tape where I centered it. Just in case I accidentally move this, I know where to put it back. So like, let's say, let's say I'm walking, I'm trying to put it down and all of a sudden I go, oh no, I pushed it and it's not, it's out of place. Well, I can line it up from this side and on this side. We're in a basement and we put our, our little popsicle contraption inside the freezer downstairs. And we're just gonna let this, let it freeze a little bit in here. I'm just gonna close this up. All right, I feel like some mistakes were made and we wanna, we wanna fix ourselves real quick right now. Instead of just letting the seeds sit at the bottom, we're actually gonna try to take it out. <laughs> so I'm taking the seeds out and then I'm gonna dry them off and I'm, we're gonna try to freeze the seeds to the side of the bucket before we put the liquid inside. I'm just gonna use a paper towel and kind of dry off the sides real quick because once these jelly, these gummies touch water, it just flops right down. So I'm gonna dry this as much as I can. I'm just gonna flatten all of these down first. <sighs> okay. Deep breaths. Things are not going the way we want, but you know what? We're gonna try something new again, okay? This time, we're gonna freeze the whole thing first, and then we'll put the seeds after. So I'm just gonna pour the mixture back inside, and I'm just gonna fill it up. Pour that in there. Now we're gonna put a whole lot of this Put a little bit more food coloring just to make it a little bit more red. It looks beautiful. I wanna eat this whole thing by myself. Okay, now we're gonna put the stick back in there. And I previously marked the middle. Ugh. Okay, it's in the freezer. We're gonna let that set for two days and then we're gonna come back and check on it afterwards. See you later. And we're back upstairs. So while the popsicle downstairs freezes, we're actually gonna make the rest of the popsicle to make it look like an actual watermelon. See how the watermelon isn't just pink and red? There's also a thin layer of white and a, and, a, and a layer of green right there. We're gonna scoop in a bunch of the vanilla ice cream into this bowl, and we're gonna put green food coloring inside. We're just gonna give it a good old mix. Ugh. Okay, just gonna sprinkle it all around. Ooh, it's mixing quick. I'm actually gonna add a few drops of blue because on the box, it says that if I add a, like one drop of blue to 10 drops of green, it'll give me that color that I want. Two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, it's, that's the color I want. I need it to be darker. 
We got the green and we got the white and we're gonna layer it on after the popsicle downstairs freezes. We're gonna make the white layer and then we're gonna put the green layer right on top of that. Then we're gonna wait 48 hours and we're gonna see the whole thing put together. And once we pull the popsicle out of the mold, that's when we're gonna put all the little seeds on top of it. So it's gonna look great. We're gonna have 3D seeds on a whole watermelon slice on a popsicle. All right, so we actually let this guy freeze for a whole week instead. And it's definitely not coming out in our pool here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it over to the sink. Ugh. Oy. And I'm actually gonna use some hot water to melt it from the outside. Go all around. Oh, oh, do you see that? It's coming out a little bit. Ugh. Okay, now once I take this out, I'm gonna lay the popsicle down on this. I already washed it with soap and everything so it's clean. And I'm gonna put the seeds on right after. I'm gonna put it on the floor. I'm gonna get this out. Use my feet. Oh my God! Holy smokes! Oh, it's a giant watermelon popsicle! Oh my God, okay, I'm gonna lay it down first. I'm gonna lay it down, it's melting. It's melting, okay. What I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take these seeds. I'm gonna melt it a little bit to make it sticky. Okay, that should be good. And then put the first one right here. Stick it right here. No, the seeds are sliding off. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put it back in the freezer right now though. Oh, this is why you gotta exercise, kids. All right, I'm gonna close the freezer door. Now we'll let this giant popsicle freeze and then we're gonna sit here and wait probably about 30 minutes and then the seeds, the little gummy seeds are gonna dry onto the popsicle. If we don't let it freeze this way, the gummies won't stick to the popsicle because it's ice and the ice melts really quickly and once the gummies get wet, they just get really slippery. It's been about 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna open this freezer up and see what we have. <gasps> it's beautiful. Please don't fall on the floor. Ugh, I'm gonna drag it out so I can close the freezer door. Oh, oh, the seeds stayed though. They're not sliding, so they're frozen on, but I know they're gonna melt fast. I'm not gonna let you get away without me eating you. Look at the seed. Now, usually you don't really wanna eat the watermelon seeds, but in this case, it's made out of gummies. Oh, it was cold. Oh, it was good. Mmm. Tastes like Kool Aid. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Oh my God, it's melting at the bottom. Oh no, 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 no! I have to eat you too? Mm. <laughs> oh my tongue! Oh, it's so cold! Whoa, that's so sweet and so sour at the same time! My voice cracked! <laughs> oh my God, this is the best day of my life! Look at this popsicle! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, that's so sweet. Usually you can't really eat the, the watermelon skin, but you know what, in this case, it's vanilla ice cream. Oh my God. <laughs> oh wait, I think I got a seed. There's so many seeds in here. Oh. My mom isn't here to tell me to stop, so I'm gonna keep going. Oh, it's sweet, but it's so sour at the same time. That Fruitopia, that was some good stuff. Mmm. See how there's like a layer of green and then like a little layer of white and then a big layer of red? That's like a real watermelon, right? The fun thing about making this giant popsicle stick is that you can actually save it for later. Put it back inside the mold that you put it in. You don't have to make it as big as this because, you know, this is a little bit hard and I can't even lift this up. Watch this. <laughs> Nope, can't do it. But I, but I think that if you guys made it in a smaller scale, the, like a smaller watermelon, I think it'll look so perfect and so cute at the same time. I highly, highly recommend you guys do it. And it's a little bit too sweet for me on the top part, so I could just add some more water. But if you do like it really, really sweet, that's okay too. I mean, it's ice cream. It's supposed to be really sweet. You know what I mean? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed it and I, think this is one of the coolest projects we've ever made. 
And even though there was a lot of trial and error, we made a lot of mistakes, things didn't work out the way we wanted to, but I would do this again 100%. So if you like this video and like this project, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. All right, if you guys made it all the way past the outro of the video, you guys are in for a treat because I am gonna destroy this popsicle now. <laughs> That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs>